Before we begin, let me start by saying this mini meth is brought to you by Pete. Thank you for all your support and for introducing me to this movie starring the late and great. The stars of our movie today are Bruce Banner, Penguin, The Daily Show, and Mrs. Doubtfire. Play! Our story begins with this Willy Wonka Teletubby mashup starring Randolph Smiley, children's television extraordinaire by day, underground money launderer by night. Yes, you heard it right, boys and girls. Rainbow Randy ain't picking your ass to be the tertiary star on this show because he thinks you're the best or the brightest. Oh no, your raggedy booger eating mug is riding the rainbow because your ma and pa brought that bag, paid that piper, doled out that El Dinero. But now Rainbow Robin is busted and headed straight for the pokey, which means we need a replacement that is squeaky, f***ing clean into smoochie perking up the strung out don't you get it nobody wants to be here with you smoochie with your football helmet horn wearing ass oh he's just f***ing perfect he don't even eat real hot dogs just the pasty white ones that are some ground up beans and fold into a sausage like shape see this motherfucker right here made me glad bonnie didn't have no face on him and he don't even get new little people they just recycle them like soylent green meanwhile randy is desperate and he ain't too eager to end up strung out getting sung to by that football helmet horn wearing soy boy. No offense to soy boys, cause I used to be one. Now that smoochy time is a big hit, it's time to cash in on that bitch. Cuff and chain. And now Smoochie is sad. After Randy tries to sabotage Smoochie by replacing his cookie with a dookie? A dicky? A cocky? And watches in fits of rage as Smoochie turns everything into something squeaky f***ing clean. Randy goes to the head Oompa Angelo and after a period of physical assault begs him for a bed. Wait Randy, if you ain't got a bed, I know you ain't got a kitchen. And if you ain't got a kitchen, where'd you bake them cookies. Meanwhile, Sheldon has been coerced into hiring Spinner, a former boxer who's now a sh** for brains and can't even ding out a simple beat with a cowbell. In the background, Smoochie's got his innocent ass all mixed up with a producer who's mixed up with some crime boss named Merv, who's fronting like he's raking in them big bucks for charity. And he's getting leaned on to do an ice show for which the aforementioned crime boss is going to get his ch ching so Randy tricks Sheldon into taking a little trip to perform at a Nazi rally, and I would say I'm surprised to see this kind of meeting in New Jersey if they weren't happening in Washington, D.C. on the daily. Threw this one in there for Pete. But now Smoochie's reputation is done, got flushed straight down the shitter. And now Nora, who I should have mentioned earlier, but I didn't feel like it, eat me, is very disappointed. But Randy visits Nora, where we find out Nora used to Smoochie Randy. And Randy accidentally lets it slip to Nora, he frames Smoochie. Return of Smoochie, Apollo Creed edition. And because Spinner couldn't bang out a single beat on a damn cowbell, welcome Smoochie's co-host, Moochie. And Nora is very sorry she didn't believe Sheldon about Smoochie's innocence, and then she smooches Smoochie and his dookie. But because Sheldon don't want to do the ice show, but he do want to do Nora, he's a little distracted while Spinner slash Moochie gets off. May you rip, Moochie. Then Merv gets off. May you rip, Merv. Back in Nora's, Randy's still a raven lunatic and he reveals the big secret. Yeah, Nora's been smooching smoochy, but she was also once rumbling with Randy and climbing Captain Kangaroo and whomping on the Wiggles and banging Barney. But then everybody smooches and makes up. And then that ghost from the subway platform that taught Sam Weed how to move shit with his mind busts in on Angelo to swipe a backstage pass to the ice show so he can sneak in and set up a sniper rig Manchurian candidate style. Now the whole fucking show is trials and tribulations of smoochydom. Look at his reenactment of the death of Moochie. And then Frank Sinatra runs up the steps to try to stop the assassination attempt and the whole damn show descends into pandemonium scaring the Hershey bars out of all the little children in TV land. And then after a little tangle, well it's pretty ugly so I'ma just say splat. Then Sheldon in Smoochie drag chases his producer through the streets of New York and apparently Smoochie got a dark side. And then Spinner's family is like, oh Smoochie. You don't want to go off in bad guys. That's what we do. And then Nora and Sheldon Smoochie in Times Square and Rainbow Randy and Smoochie do their best Roxy and Velma duet impersonation. I don't think that's Rainbow Randy. Wait, are we gonna talk about how this has suddenly morphed into a John Woo film? Damn. Once again, a big thank you to Pete for sponsoring this mini meth and for letting me know about a movie with one of my favorite comedians in it. Four movies explained for, I'm Jeb. Smoochie Dial.